Hi Lux Girls, we're in Carnaby Street to find out what some of you do for a living, how you got there and how the cost of living crisis impacts you. What do you do for a living? I am freelance social media manager. Positives of going freelance? Flexibility and freedom that it brings and you're your own boss and you can work your own schedules. Tip for anyone looking to go into social media? Reaching out and not being afraid to admit that you're less experienced than you are. In terms of getting to where you've got to now, was there anything you studied? Did you go to university? I did, I went to London College of Fashion and I studied PR and then yeah, ended up getting to social along the way. And do you think university really benefited that path? I think it benefited my social connections more than anything else. On the kind of work side, I feel like I could have gone the route that I've gone without uni. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a professional dancer. What is one thing you love about your job? That it started off as my passion. Now I get to do that, like living my dream. That sounds so cringe, but it's true. How do you find the cost of living crisis in London? The dance industry kind of suffered for a bit. Now it's getting back but it, it's hard one tip you would give to a dancer to be yourself to not get lost in what everyone else is doing and to remember that you're human first not just dancer what do you do for a living i'm a stylist and i make sandwiches yeah. what's your favorite sandwich filling i see it's got to be ham and cheese you can't go wrong with ham and cheese how did you get into styling started doing it for friends did it for my friend's music video and just kind of pick it up when I can. Has been your path to styling? I did a fine arts degree. I always wanted to do fashion. So I didn't have the confidence to do that from the beginning, so I would just do that from the beginning. Thank you so much. It's been great to chat. Right. Have a good day. You too.